Hello, my name is Amit Kulkarni. I am the director and faculty for Effective PMC. This demo is about demonstrating our methodology of conducting trainings on PMP. This will give you an idea of how we make it very easy for our delegates to understand the concepts. We have experienced that if the training is conducted on purely telling about inputs, outputs, tools and techniques, one finds it extremely difficult to understand the concepts. You will really need a long time to clear the examination. Therefore, we have devised this methodology. We start a process or a knowledge area by telling you a very small relevant story or a real life example, which you can then relate and then we talk about contextualizing the story to the inputs, outputs, tools and techniques. Let me demonstrate to you how I would conduct the training to tell you about validate scope knowledge area in PIMBOK. Let's now learn the next process which is 5.5 validate scope. To understand validate scope, I am going to again tell you a small story. Let's assume that one of the characters, a hypothetical character by the name Mrs. Disoza buys a flat in a residential tower in Mumbai. Now this is a three bedroom hall kitchen, a nice flat she has bought and she has been paying EMIs for the last three years. It's almost time and flat is ready. Builder now calls their department which inspects the quality of the flat before calling the customer for taking the approval or handing over the keys to the customer. So the builder calls their quality control department and asks them, can you inspect the flat and ensure that everything is perfect? Quality control department comes in the flat. It might be a couple of people from their own team who does an independent quality check on the flat. They come to the flat, they inspect the tiling, they inspect the false ceiling, the color, the windows, the fittings and they go through a checklist and they perform something called as an inspection of the flat. Once this is done, they will go back to their teams, the builder teams telling everything looks fine, time to call Mrs. Disoza to take position. So the builder's office calls Mrs. Disoza. Mrs. Disoza, congratulations, your flat is ready now for position. You must come and accept the keys at the same time pay us our last installment. Mrs. Disoza is very very thrilled. She comes to the flat on a predefined day for acceptance. She walks into the flat, she starts inspecting the flat and she is she's thrilled to see everything. The bedrooms are perfect, the living room is perfect, the bathrooms are perfect. She walks into the kitchen, which is where she is going to spend a lot of time of her life in that kitchen. She suddenly notices that the fixtures in the kitchen are not exactly what she wanted. They are of a substandard quality. So she says, hey, what is this? I am not happy with these fittings. What is this that you have put? I want only Jaguar fittings, which are the best fittings available here in this area. I said, madam, you have agreed for the fittings that have been fitted. This is what has been signed up. She says, I don't care. I don't care. I just need the best fittings to be fitted into my kitchen. The builder says, Madam, but that will cost you a fortune. She says, I am fine. I am fine absolutely to pay that fortune. But nevertheless, I want the best fittings in my kitchen. Builder takes the request down. And Mrs. Disoza does not take the acceptance of the flat, does not take the keys. And the builder goes back and he gives her an estimate that madam, this is going to cost you 15,000 rupees. Mr. Disoza says, I am fine to pay 15,000 rupees. You please go ahead and change the fittings and then call me for inspection again. At the time of acceptance also, there was something called as a change request here. That is what you must notice. The builder now changes the fittings, prepares the list again and calls Mrs. Disoza for the inspection. This time Mrs. Disoza is very very happy and she goes, goes ahead and takes the position of this fact. Now you heard the story right? Interesting isn't it? Now I talk about how I will contextualize the story to tell you about the data flow. Now let's take that story and let's understand our data flow. Now Mrs. Disoza here had come for acceptance of the flat. 
and before that i told you that the quality control department had already come and inspected the flat look here input to the validated scope is control quality that means the output of control quality that is verification of the deliverable the here the deliverable was the flat itself verification of the deliverable was an input to validation of scope that means when mrs disosa came verified deliverables had to be there for her to accept therefore you see control quality feeds in verified deliverables to this particular process validated scope now let's understand the scenario where she asked for a jaguar fittings now the point here is that asking for jaguar fittings was a change request she was ready to pay for the jaguar fittings but she wanted that change so the point here to understand is that a change request can come even at the point at which a customer is accepting the deliverable as late as acceptance okay therefore you see change request is an output of validated scope now let's understand that after this change request was implemented what happened mrs disosa came in second time she saw that the jaguar fittings were fitted and at that time she actually said i am okay to accept it and therefore let me pay you the check and let me take the keys of the flat so essentially the deal of she buying the flat and finally taking the position after making the entire payment was a project closure or a phase closure here therefore when she accepted the deliverables that means taking the handover of the keys is an accepted deliverable goes as an input to course project or phase i hope you got a good glimpse about how we conduct our training please do visit our website www dot effective pmc dot com. You are also free to reach me at amit at the rate effective pmc dot com, or you may find contact numbers on my website where you can reach me. Thank you.